War Diary Day 633 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Last night, uh, about well, this morning, about three o'clock, there was no air raid siren. Um, the Russians fired about 10 Shahid drones at us. These are made in Iran. Um, and they were all knocked out of the sky by Ukrainian air defense. Well done, chaps. What we're worried about is at some point there's going to be a really massive um, drone attack. This is when it's going to be much, much colder. And in amongst the drones will be uh, cruise missiles. Um, they'll almost certainly do it on a clear night, like a like a bomber's um, moon during the Second World War. The, the fancy rockets, the cruise missiles, don't need um, uh, a clear night, but the drones do, and the drones are part of the. Um, they're the swarm attack, and. Um, what the Russians are hoping for is that Ukrainian air defence will be so overwhelmed by the mass of stuff coming at them that they, um, they won't be able to cope and people in this city will get killed. Um, I think that's a very likely prospect this winter. I'm not going to say when it's going to happen because I don't know. But something like this is a real threat. Meanwhile, President Zelensky has said that because of the war in Israel-Palestine, what's happening is that um, uh, they're, they're receiving, the Ukrainians are receiving less ammunition. The reason for this is that I think primarily the United States, which is the big arsenal of Ukraine, is worried about its depleted uh, ammunition stocks and in case there is a big war, for example, um, between Iran and Israel, uh, let's hope that never happens. But um, because of that, they're holding back more stuff, and that means less arms for Ukraine. Now, um, I'm sorry to say this, but I mean, I passionately believe that back in Britain, we should spend more money on health and education and roads and rivers and everything. But we've got to start spending more money on defense. We cannot trust Trump. <laughs> and Vladimir Putin is our enemy. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.